this morning I wanted to make a short video, hopefully one the, of uh, a series, <clears throat> about a uh, new, at least new to me, uh, piece of software for the RSP uh, series of receivers. I know there's a lot of uh, YouTube videos on the use of the RSP-1, uh, the RSP-1A, the RSP-2, the RSP-Duo. Uh, there's a whole line of uh, really nice uh, software-defined radios. What you see on the screen is a new piece of software called the RSP Spectrum Analyzer. Now, I have a couple of RSP receivers, and I'm not going to be doing any reviews or uh, anything on those because there's plenty of better videos already on YouTube, but I haven't been able to find any on this software. And I think it's been out for a while, uh, at least a few months, if maybe a, a, as much as a year. It's still in uh, alpha testing, and this particular copy is uh, alpha, hang on just a second, let me, version 1.0, 10 March 2019, so uh, just a couple of days ago. Uh, the, what you see on the screen is a series of uh, FM broadcast signals up in the uh, upper right hand corner you may see a center frequency of 100 megahertz it is uh, starts at 95 and goes to 105 in other words I have a 10 megahertz span and the peaks that you see are the FM signals in my area this is the uh, this is in Austin uh, Texas area. I'm not actually in the city, but I'm outside uh, close enough to get the Austin uh, FM signals. So this is 95.5 if you're familiar with the FM scene in Austin. This is 95.5 and, uh, and so on across. The Let me show you the little setup that I've got, but before I do that, let me talk about what, what's going on here. This is an actual uh, spectrum analyzer. Now it uses a fast Fourier transform. It, it does not, it's not a swept, uh, in the normal sense, a swept where you use uh, a narrow bandwidth filter and you sweep across the uh, signal. Instead, what it does is it uses the, uh, the SDR receiver, the uh, in this case it's an RSP1A and and then it does an FFT on the uh, output which as most of you know uh, the, the way that these things work is they decode uh, into an I and Q signal that is an in phase and quadrature phase uh, signal and then uh, that is converted into this FFT spectrum so uh, a very neat and uh, at this point at any rate uh, free software that works with an RSP1A. It also works with an RSP2. Uh, I can verify those two because those are the two that I have. I'm going to assume that it works with the RSP1 as well as the Duo uh, at any rate. The, uh, in other words the entire SDR Play family. I think this is going to be a very neat uh, addition to the RSP uh, family because it, al it allows people like me who are really more interested in measuring <laughs> rather than, I, I listen to FM, but uh, I I'm measuring. Now understand this uh, will uh, the spectrum analyzer, I haven't really tested its limits, but I'm going to assume that since I know it starts at uh, when it first initializes, it's around 10 megahertz, and 
based on what I have read, it looks like it will go all the way to 2 gigahertz, which is the upper frequency limit of most of the RSP receivers. So uh, that means that you have a, a quite wide range spectrum analyzer available to you at no additional cost if you already own an RSP-1. Let me show you the actual setup and uh, and then we'll come back and take one last look at this and try to keep this video fairly short. This is the RSP-1 and the I'm using an SMA to BNC adapter on its antenna. Let me turn it slightly so that you can see that. And then the uh, a small antenna connected, BNC antenna connected there that runs up, uh, oh I've got it set to about a 18 inch height. Now this is the RSP-1. I have also tried it with the RSP-2, which you may see back there, that I use for uh, for my amateur radio, uh, well, for monitoring the uh, uh, a bunch of radio frequencies, including shortwave listening and so on. The RSP-1 that's down here is actually uh, a second one that I use on an FTDX 3000, which is really my my better uh, amateur radio rig, but it's in another room, or actually it's upstairs in a uh, in more of a ham uh, environment. But what we have is the uh, antenna on the input. And I'm going to be doing a bunch of ex much more experiments, and I'll talk about that in a second. But for now, I wanted to get this video out on uh, on YouTube to encourage people to download this software because I know during the uh, alpha phases, the feedback from users can be really valuable. So let's take one last look at the software, and then uh, the I'll. Uh, talk about uh, briefly where I think I'm going to go with this and then maybe stop talking and post the video. Okay, one last look at the uh, video uh, or the uh, software, <laughs> video display of the software and mention that you can download this uh, software from, uh, if you look for RSP Spectrum Analyzer. You'll uh, you'll find this video. I recommend that you first make sure that you have your RSP device working before you load the Spectrum software because it is uh, it is an alpha software and it did a really good job of detecting both of my units but I had them already working with the regular SDR Uno and also with the HD SDR software. So I had already loaded all of the drivers and the other things that uh, you have to have working before this uh, program will work. Now, as I say, I had no trouble with it, but I just caution you that I wouldn't uh, try to get an RSP receiver working with the spectrum analyzer. I would use the SDR Uno software first and make sure that your uh, SDR receiver is working properly and then uh, switch over to the RSP spectrum analyzer. But the purpose of this video is to encourage as many people as possible to download this software and try it and provide your positive feedback to the uh, developers. The uh, I am sure that the more people who are working with this and the more uh, support that it receives from the community, the better it will eventually be. It's pretty good now. I haven't found anything wrong with it, but I haven't done many experiments yet. I will be doing some experiments comparing this with a variety of spectrum analyzers. I have three uh, spectrum analyzers that uh, I, well actually four, 
that I can compare this to. So look forward to some videos uh, as I go forward. Right now I'm off on a couple of other projects that uh, I want to finish up before I come back to this. But I wanted to get this up and get a little uh, uh, attention in the uh, community and hopefully a lot of good feedback and uh, this already very nice piece of software can get even better. So I hope you uh, enjoy this. I hope it has piqued your interest. If you don't have a, a, uh, an RSP uh, receiver, maybe this is enough to, to uh, cause you to, to go look at one. Uh, if you already have one, then I really encourage you to try this RSP Spectrum Analyzer software and give your comments. Please don't send your comments to me, although you can, uh, you certainly can comment on this video, but especially if you have suggestions or comments or other things, uh, make sure that you send them to the people that are working on this, uh, this software. I'm uh, not really in a position to be a forwarding station for comments, but I am very interested in this. And I hope that in the very near future, I'll be able to show you a little more about this RSP Spectrum Analyzer. So in the meantime, have a nice day.